We all know money can change people, but what happens when girls are born into wealth and never understand that their actions have consequences? Call my father. No, no. He owns the island. Here are three examples of when rich girls thought they were above the law. Starting in New Mexico, police were made aware of a black SUV driving erratically, almost hitting multiple other vehicles. Luckily, it wasn't too difficult for the cops to catch the driver, as her own ridiculous driving ended up getting her backed into a corner with barely any persuasion from the cops. However, when the cops went to identify the driver, they discovered the last thing they expected. Well, my name is Officer Solomon with the Hospital Police Department, okay? The reason I'm making contact with you is because we got a call in that you're intoxicated driving, okay? Obviously, when I saw you, you just drove onto a curb and almost struck a fence, okay? So I'm going to need you to step out. Okay. The driver is clearly out of it and absolutely should not have been driving. However, the most interesting part of this case is that the woman in the car is actually the police sergeant's girlfriend. So the case had to be handed over to a different department due to a conflict of interest. And unfortunately for her, they weren't messing around. You know it's against the, against the law to be driving under the influence, correct? It's not to keep up. Okay, you do know that, right? So I don't know why you think you're above the law because who you're dating. You're gonna get out of the car, I'm gonna have to tip, pull you out. Okay, okay, we're not playing a game like you did with the other officers. Okay? Are you gonna get out of the car? What game are you playing? I'm not playing any game with you. Are you gonna get out of the car? Yes or no? No. Okay. I don't want out on the Oh, really? Yeah, really. Really? Oh, what the f You're gonna listen. Yeah. You don't get any favors because who you're dating. You understand that? Don't resist. I'm gonna stop. I can call all your shit. Stop. No. Yeah, stop. You already messed stop. up. Stop, man. We're 15 one time. You're not wrong. Stop. You're wrong. Stop. But this isn't where the insanity ends. What could possibly be worse than driving drunk through residential streets at rush hour? Doing exactly that, but with a baby in the car. I'm sorry. Bro. I mean, I just don't, I don't know her issue. I'm so embarrassed. I don't. I tried. Was the child inside the car? You grabbed the car. You grabbed the kid? Yeah, I watched him get the kid out of the car. Yeah, I did. Because I was pulling Okay, get the child's information? Yeah. Are you, I guess your mom? Grandma. Grandma? I had no clue. Hello. Deputy Sanchez with the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Are you okay? Do you need medics to come see you? No. Okay. Okay, so they're going to switch out the cuffs, okay? The cops are trying to do everything they can to treat the woman with respect, but it seems she's just too snide and disrespectful to do the same back, as she immediately starts to pick fights with the officers. Ready? You. Hey, no. You yeah, have to hold me. What? I don't know why he would say that. Go ahead and get him. He said he f***ed you. I hey, don't know why he would say that. As a subordinate. Okay, let's go. Go ahead and get him. Get no. Get on. Don't f do Hey, go ahead and get him. Get on. No. Ahmad go said he f***ed you as the You're going to catch more charges. Get, get up. up. No, I don't give a Get up. You know what? Get up. Watch your step. Ready? He told me he get up. Jasmine. Hey, get, get up. up. No, he told me. Get up. Get in there. He told me. Get up. I will. You will not. Get in there. That's enough. Stop. That's enough. Now knock it off. I'm not going to tell you again. You're going to knock it off. You're not gonna come out here and kick one of my Thank deputies. You. Thank you. Are you gonna Thank stop? You. Are you going Thank to stop? You for the evidence. Are you going to Thank Now stop. Get up. No, Thank you. Sit up. Thank you. Sit up. Sit up. No. Thank you for the evidence. No, don't you Get up. Get up. Get up. Is your name? Huh? She kicked. Resisting like this has done nothing but add another charge to her already long list. The cops talk to a couple witnesses and search the car, but the most interesting part of the whole case comes back at the station, where she's made to take a blood alcohol level test. Remember, the woman was driving recklessly while allegedly drunk, carrying a baby on board. If she doesn't pass this, things don't look good for her position not only out of jail, but as a mother. So first of all, look, we're not gonna argue. We can put you back in the unit and take you right to jail. So okay. we're the ones, she's just getting the door for us. She's just getting the door for us. We're just going there, we're going to do the test. Let's He's go. doing everything. He's doing it's the test. conflict. So I'm going to run the test, Desiree. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so let's go. He's running it. I'm going to be the She's holding the door for us. Go ahead. It's a conflict. 
She's holding the door. I'm not going to be in there. You're just holding the door for us so we can go inside. I can't do both. I can't. If I pass, if so I don't pass this test. You said you were going to take the test. Kids. Right now we're here. Now it's time to take the test, I'm okay? I'm telling you, if I Desiree. fail, I will not have my Okay, kids. if the machine tones out, we're going to take it as a refusal, and we're just going to take you right over to the jail. A big blow. <laughs> just take a big, big blow. Breathe in real big. Keep going. Please, Victor. We still need this second test before we can figure everything out. So in a second, you're going to do the same thing you did already. The woman's blood alcohol level came back to a 0.36%, 4.5 times over the legal limit, and by all accounts, an extremely dangerous level to be at. Almost all of the charts available show that anything over 0.3% can be deadly. The risk of blood alcohol poisoning and even a coma is extremely high, and frankly, it's a miracle that she's still even conscious. At this point, it's not even just about punishing her for the immense amount of danger she put herself, the public, and and her baby in, but it's also about keeping her safe. But even with this in mind, she's still not ready to cooperate. To the jail. Well, we have to. So, Desiree, we're gonna go now. If we go home, I'm gonna press charges on you. Okay, that's fine. Especially because I have evidence. Okay, that's fine. Come on, we have to take you to the jail. No. Stop that. Yeah. None of that needs yeah. to happen right now. No. Okay, no, it doesn't. You. So we're no. going to escort you if you don't stand no. up. Yes, we are. I'm going to be another victim. No. You're not a victim. All right, Sanchez. He told me everything. No, he told you got a, me you got everything. Got all okay. I don't have a, a good one either. He told me he f***ed her. Okay, and that's their the business. So daddies. stop. No. I'm not gonna stop. No. We'll go to I sit. will have a whole There's case. A, a no. You're about to catch another. Okay, no. so you're, we're gonna put you in there if you don't go in there. Desiree, you need to listen. Victor, take it me does, home. No, can't do that. Victor. So listen. You're gonna listen now, Desiree. All right. Let's go. Have a seat, Desiree. Let's go. Listen, blood ass. I can't listen to you. Okay. Put your legs in, Desiree. Right there. Desiree, I'm gonna go around and pull you in. Desiree, okay. just get in there. Shut the f up. Just get in there. It's easier if you come, you follow the instruction and come out. I'm just telling you I can't. Okay, I'm gonna tell you one I more can't. time. Why can't you? Are you intoxicated at this time? No. Okay, we'll, we'll help you. Come on. Scoot the officers way. are willing to help you, so I suggest you go that way. For the third time, I'm asking off. you, are you gonna get off? No. Okay. I need no. to get off. Hey, 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 ow! Come on, ow! Stand up. <laughs> Come on. After receiving medical attention, the woman was charged with aggravated DWI, abuse of a child, two counts of battery on an officer, three counts of resisting, obstructing an officer, and multiple other driving and misbehavior charges. The only thing it feels like she didn't do was attempt to run away after her arrest. But luckily, this girl had her covered on that front. Hi, how you doing? Was I speeding? No, you weren't speeding. You don't have your back lights on. They don't turn on. They're yeah. automatic. These okay. are auto lights that come on. Mm -hmm. So that's what's on right now. Okay. It only... You don't have any way to turn them on? My back lights? Yeah, so like a lot when of times... When I break? No, like your tail lights just aren't on at all. So oh, when you break shoot. your... When you break, your lights will activate. But like when you're just driving on the road you regularly... These are just auto lights. I don't really yeah. know how to fix that. Already the way this girl is talking is a little suspicious. She seems louder than you'd expect and occasionally talks over the officer without realizing it, but it's a little too early to call at this point. However, after just a couple minutes, the cop notices an all too familiar scent in the car. And have you guys been drinking? No. No, nobody's been drinking at all? Okay. She just got off at gyms. Okay, it smells like alcohol in the car, that's why I'm asking, okay. So if, we don't have any alcohol in the car. I know, I know. I'm saying it, if you have been drinking, it smells like somebody's been drinking. So that's why I'm asking. Okay. All right. So you haven't had, none of you have we had were, anything we to drink? We were at a party. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, just give me one sec. I'm going to be right back with you, okay? Okay. You can tell that they're the ones in the, the one in the back seat's drunk for sure. Mm -hmm. And I tried to explain to the driver that I was like, somebody's been drinking in this car. And they're like, no, we haven't been drinking. So... They refuse ideas or something? 
No, she just, I didn't even ask because they just kept going off on, they kept telling me a bunch of stupid information that I didn't need to know. And the chick was like, oh, well, I don't have my ID on me. So she gave me her name and date of birth. Yeah. In this situation, it would have been far smarter for the girls in the back to admit they were drunk, as all lying did was make the cops suspicious. Remember, drinking is not a crime of its own, but driving drunk is. So if the scent was coming from the girls in the back, that would explain everything. But now the cop is worried that the driver is lying too, and heads back to see if he's right. So, Jada, you said you had nothing to drink tonight, right? No. Okay. Would None you of mind us, just doing a few tests for me to see? None of us. But you pulled me over for lights. Isn't that a warning? No, it can be a ticket. I've gotten pulled over for my lights not being on, and I've sworn every yeah, time it's, that's it's, a warning. It's a it's a violation, so you can you can write somebody a ticket for it. So my lights didn't come on in the back. I what do you mean that by to you? They weren't on. What is that like? What do you mean by lights? Your lights were not on in the back. When that I means braked? that nobody could see you when you were driving down the road if they were behind you. Okay, you haven't had anything to drink, right? No, I okay. mean we went to a party, but I don't think that. Anything that we were like containing or anything like that okay. has us under the influence as being drunk. Okay. Now that's a convincing argument, but the cop still has to do his due diligence and put her through the same field sobriety tests which you've all likely seen before. The horizontal gaze test, the walk and turn, and the one leg stand. But when he finds out the driver was only 20 years old, he realizes he has to head to the breathalyzer test. Remember anyone under the age of 21 is prohibited from drinking at all before driving, so she has to blow absolute zero in order to head home tonight. But the officers could have never expected this turn of events. Right. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm very nervous. I just peed my pants. Okay. Is it possible I can go to the bathroom or just be behind it? Like, should be very bad. There's no restroom open. All right. So do me a favor. All right. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. I really have to go to the bathroom. It's okay. All right. Can you just blow into this until it clicks? <laughs> no. Hang on. Just a nice steady breath, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, hang on. It's gotta, you gotta. I'm sorry, I'm literally going okay. to the bathroom it's okay. right now. Can I, I can give you a second. Can I just go pee, really? You can come okay, with me. You can sorry. literally come with me. I don't care, but I really have to go to the bathroom. Okay, I mean, if, if you absolutely can't hold it, we can make that work, I guess. She can come with me, but I'm literally okay. being my pants right now. Okay, all right, she can go with you. A couple minutes later, the girl returns to finally take the breathalyzer test. We'll get this set up again for you. Okay. Yeah, just blow in this nice steady okay. breath until it clicks, okay? Did it click? Yep. We're at a point one zero three. Okay. Point one zero three. what does that mean? Under 0 .8? That means you're over the legal limit. Okay. Okay, so you do have to be placed under arrest. Okay. Okay. So are you gonna, your back, are you gonna take them home? They're gonna they're getting picked up. So Okay. Okay. I appreciate you being cooperative. Yep. After blowing just over the legal limit, the girl is placed under arrest and the cop thanks her for being cooperative. But it seems that he may have spoken too soon, because just moments later, for some absurd reason, she does this. Is it possible you can come pee with me again? What's that? I don't need a female watch officer to watch me. I don't want to pee my pants again. Will you come with me outside? You can follow me. We're, we're literally going to the police department. It's like a mile away. I'm peeing on your seat. Right now? Yes. <laughs> you good? Hang on. Don't get out. Don't get out. There's a car coming. Stop! No! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Stop! Hey, Six, we got one taken off on us. She's trying to drive away. Fuck, out of the car! Get out of the car! You're gonna get tased! Get out of the car. Okay. You're gonna get fucking- oh, Okay. Ow! 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 Okay. Ow! 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 Where's your body cam? I don't know. 
It's impossible to know what's going through somebody's mind when they do things like this. Because all the girl did was take this from a little embarrassing to downright humiliating. She was dragged out of her own car in handcuffs in front of all her friends. For the next five minutes, she sat on the ground complaining about various injuries she apparently sustained in the scuffle. But when the EMT arrived, they concluded she was in perfect health. So instead of driving back home that night, she was taken to the police station where she was charged with felony aggravated battery resisting an officer, DUI, and attempting to elude an officer. She was sentenced to 92 days in jail and two years of probation. But at least she went quiet after being put in cuffs for good. This next woman was so entitled, she thought she was completely above the law and could do whatever she wanted. I don't want to touch you. 30-year-old Karina was kicked off an aeroplane for attacking the employees. When the cops arrived, she fled to the airport bathroom. But what happens is nothing short of insane. Are you okay? No, no. Karina claims she's being harassed and was treated unfairly by the aeroplane staff. She says she wasn't aggressive at all, but she did politely get off the plane because she didn't want to make a scene. The cops spend the next few minutes trying to convince Karina that if she's nice enough, she might be able to reason with the airline and get her seat back on the plane. This at least gets her out of the stall, but she starts to be less cooperative when the cops start to ask her this question. Did you have a thing to today? Is that against the law? No, that's what I'm asking. Lawyer? No. I'm going to call a lawyer. For what? Before I ask, answer any more questions, I'm going to call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm going to call a lawyer. Before I answer any eat? questions, I'm going to call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm going to call a lawyer. Have you eaten today? That's my lawyer. About yeah, okay. Uh, you haven't had anything to eat today? That's my lawyer. You take medication? That's my lawyer. Are you flying? That's my lawyer. Are you going to Georgia? That's my lawyer. Atlanta? That's my lawyer. Okay. Her slurred speech and extremely awkward state of mind basically answer this question for us. So the cops decide to speed things up and put her in cuffs. Karina is then walked out to a patrol car, but before they can even get there, her attitude goes from bad to worse, and she starts to become violent. I don't, I really don't feel comfortable. I'm standing, I'm standing, I'm standing right here. No, I don't want him touching me. I literally, he's on a power play mode. I don't want him touching me. I I don't want him touching me. Hey. You, I don't want him touching me. Stop. I said I don't want him touching me. Stop. I don't feel comfortable with him. Okay. No, I don't want you touching Karina. me. Hey, Karina, you promised to forgive. We'll let you stand back up. You want to but stand up? I need up? you to say that you're not going to kick my officers, okay? Yes, Daddy, I promise. Daddy, I'll be a good girl. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Karina, can you walk for us? I don't want to touch you. Come on. 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 I'm a lawyer. Even getting Karina into a patrol vehicle seems to be a massive task for the officers as she continues to not cooperate. Oh, no, no, get my car. You get your car. No, when you get there. I just I'm going to hold, hold Step into the car. No. Do not. Call my dad. Oh, <laughs> Karina was eventually brought back to the station where her prints were taken and her charges read. She was hit with assaulting a public servant, public intoxication, and resisting arrest, and will likely be spending at least the night in jail to sleep the alcohol off. Karina's lawyer never showed up, and the same goes for the next case, but unfortunately for the suspect, somebody much, much worse showed up. Dad! You know what you've done? Get your order, Jim. On February 21st, 2022, police pulled over a Tesla after receiving a reckless driving report. But it was clear the driver had no intention of sticking around to get their ticket. Hey! Hey! Bit of the Tesla just took off. Turn off the vehicle! Sheriff's office!
but Tesla decides to pull over at this stop sign instead. The driver then starts to talk with the officer, but it's clear she's more than a little confused. Hold it! Stay in the f***ing vehicle! Fifth eleven, she's getting out. Come here! Come here! Stand in front of my f***ing patrol vehicle right now! Right now! Ma'am! Ma'am? Yeah? You need to come over here right now. Why? Because I'm telling you to. You're running from me. I did not. I'm right here. This is already one of the strangest traffic stops this officer will have ever made, and it's only about to get weirder. 5th 11, she's refusing to comply. Get, hey! Uh. Get out of the vehicle. You got me stop, bro. I own this. Actively island. resist it. Get out of the f Get out of the vehicle! She's taking off! 5011, I'm in pursuit again. We're stopped again. Turn off the vehicle! Footage like this can often feel distressing, until you realize it's caused by nothing other than the suspect's own incompetence. This girl intentionally ignored order after order from the officer and fled the scene multiple times. If she doesn't know what she did wrong, that's entirely her fault. Maybe that's the reason she's screaming for her father so much, something she continues to do long after being detained. No, this is what happens when you flee and then you kick me. I didn't flee and I didn't kick you. So those lights and sirens mean nothing? We're just out Can here. Can I call my father? No, no. He owns the island. 5th to 11, you can okay. release the air. Call my father. I'm not calling your dad. Then what are you How gonna old do? Are you? How old are you? I'm 24. Okay, 24, we don't need to call your dad. You yeah. could have okay. killed someone. Yes, you could Yeah, have. I could have killed you too, but you're alive, right? Something is clearly very wrong with this girl. Whether it's alcohol, drugs, or simply an incredibly corrupt worldview, the cops aren't sure, but they're bent on finding out. What? Wait, what, 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 wait, what's yeah. happening? I have a what? I mean, she's sick one, I can smell it. Yeah, I know. What did I do? You ran from me. You, one, you ran. Two, you ran from one. Him. How much, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask you any questions. All right, you got her. I'm gonna go ahead and pat her down. Yeah. Please call my dad. No, I, listen. No, I need my dad here before you do anything to me. No, that's not how this works. You're 24 years old. I don't care. Do you want to no. participate in standard field sobriety exercises to dispel my belief that you're driving under the influence? Yes, of course I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Ma'am, you need I've to listen to me. I've been for three years. All the signs are pointing to a break in this girl's sobriety streak. She's confused, distressed, and almost delirious. Just take a look at her expression and behavior as the cop tries to explain how horribly she's been acting. Ma'am, the amount of lives that you just put at risk is ridiculous, okay? I have no sympathy for you right now. You could have easily killed someone. There are little kids that live in this neighborhood. The fact that you would run from me... Walk up on him like that again. You are, you do not know how lucky you yeah. are you didn't kill someone. That's how you got your empathy, right? Mm. All right, I don't know if we can do it, but she's resisting. Yeah, no. Dad! Despite briefly turning into a zombie, she's still able to yell for her father, who miraculously has now decided to turn up. But before they're able to talk to him, they want to secure the girl in their patrol vehicle, a task that turned out to be much harder than they expected. <laughs> Get in. We got resisting with violence. You didn't tell me why you're bringing me in the car. Because you were going to jail. 
Why? Jesus fucking Christ. Are you going to calm down if you talk to your dad? Yes. Please let me talk to my dad. Please. Please. Let me talk to my dad. Please. She's obviously not going down easy, so the cops decide to finally let her talk to her dad to calm her down. But things went down totally differently to what they expected. There's nothing I can do. Just, just see why I can't calm down. I'll get down there and see you. I'll try to get down there and But you can't. You can't start acting out. If you start acting out, it's just going to get worse. Yeah, what did I do? You know what you've done. Stop acting out. Dad, why are they upset? 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 Dad, why are they why am I going to jail? Because you were speeding, you ran stop signs. Where was I speed? Well, that's probably well, what well, do they know? Often these rich entitled kids are the way they are because of their irresponsible parents. But with a father that acts like this, it's difficult to imagine how she ended up this way. Either way, after a conversation with her father, the girl calmed down and was taken to jail where she was slapped with charges for DUI, reckless driving, fleeing police, and resisting arrest with violence. There seems to be a common trait of these entitled girls driving drunk because that's exactly what this next girl got caught doing. But she did a much worse job of hiding it. Stop screaming. They tell him to give me my phone. You know who the f I am. We have dealt with this shit. Give me my phone. Stop screaming, ma'am. Okay, well, tell him to stop f***ing with me. Leave me alone. I hear your dog. I know who the f*** you are. Okay, well, Trust me. who am I then? Then you f***ing I've dealt with you and your f***ing partner when you so dealt stop with... stop screaming right Okay, now. then tell him to leave me the f*** this girl was approached by a bar owner after he spotted her trying to drive away after drinking far too much. As you can tell, she was not too happy with this and started to get extremely angry with the owner, who proceeded to call the cops. You're not going to drive. So who's going to drive me? Who's I don't know. You need that? to get an Uber or something like that. You drunk and follow? you're not going to drive. I'm not drunk at oh, all. Okay. Do you want to follow me home? No, I can smell the alcohol coming off. Why don't you follow me home? We've because already dealt with each other before. Just follow me home. Well, you're under the influence and we're not going to follow you home. You need to find a ride. This is ridiculous, dude. This is hilarious. No, I'm going to get my phone. I'm yeah. trying to get my phone. You just about fell into me. No, I didn't. I'm going to get my phone. Okay. Is that okay? Or are you going to yes. shoot me? Hey, hey, yes. Are you going to shoot me? Huh? Your keys aren't in okay. there. My keys are not in there. Are you going to hey, shoot hey, me you, no, hey, when I get my phone? Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Behind my back for what? Put, you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Before. Persistent. Yeah. Arrest me. You yeah. tried to arrest, arrest me. Right now. Arrest me then. Arrest you are me. Under arrest. arrest me. Please arrest me. This girl went down much easier, but continued to kick off after being put in cuffs. Have a seat in there. Have a seat. Have a seat. No, not until I know. No, no. Right now you're under arrest, okay? You you're need to have a seat in the car before you get arrest. additional charges. Hey! Have Jim. a seat. Get in the car. Get more on three. Get in the car. on three. If you get in the car, you can tell him. Stay over there. Okay. We'll, we'll talk to you in a second. Just hang out up there. Put Watch your feet in. Watch your knees. No, not until I know Put when I can in. get. Not until I know yeah, when I can get my. Put your feet I don't care. After being taken back to the station, the girl was charged with disorderly conduct and taken to court where she pleaded guilty. She was fined $100 for the trouble she caused. At least she didn't end up becoming violent though. A stark contrast to the actions of this girl from Georgia. At around 4 a.m. on the 11th of August 2021, three officers were called to an apartment complex on a disturbance call. When they arrived, they found three women outside. Things started to escalate quickly. Girl, don't be trying play with me. You fuck wrong with you. Girl, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Girl, it's four fucking Girl, morning. bitch, We're not I don't care. Bitch, I don't care. It don't matter about no going back and forth. She's grown as fuck. Okay, fuck well, wrong with you, yeah. Man, girl, I don't man. Sir, don't go tell me what here. I do. Don't tell me. Yes, I'm tell telling you what to do. Because right now sir, I'm telling you what to do. Sir, I'm not locked up and I'm not doing nothing illegal. Don't tell you me what to do. You are doing something illegal. No, what I'm doing. You what are, I'm doing. You are being disorderly right now. Baby, baby I'm not being illegal. The same this, this man that's coming. No, baby, no, I'm not. All right, well, let's go step on this car. Because you're not going to corrupt me with no bitch for a party. 
Well, well then sit down. Your car. No, then come stand right there. Sit I don't have to come sit, down. sit right here. I don't have to sit down. This is my I'll wife. Bring it down. Baby. This is my wife. Not right. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, you it is. You cannot yell at 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay, baby. Okay, I don't have to raise it. Okay, I don't have to raise it 4 o'clock in the morning. Don't tell me what to do. I can I can tell you what to do. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. I'll call you out here, baby. You cannot tell me what to do. This girl seems to be unaware of the fact that, at least when you're breaking the law, the cops are completely allowed to tell you what to do. If she doesn't realize this quickly, she might end up in a bad situation. Stop acting like you can do something to me. I can. Okay. Okay. I can 100%. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot, baby. You cannot. You cannot stop acting like you can do something to me because I'm not doing nothing to Yeah, keep that. Keep that. And funny. I will record. That's and funny. I'm going to record. And I'm recording you. They all sit here with a friend. But, but, but there you you need to relax. You need I don't need to record, baby. Nothing. But you keep telling me I need to relax. Relax off of what? Relax off of what? Because you can go to jail for disorderly conduct. Okay, disorderly conduct, but what am I doing? You're yelling you're, at you're, four in the morning. It's four in the morning and you're it drunk. Yes, there, drunk. yes, it does matter. Well, okay, wait. Well, do the blow test. Make me walk and do everything else. Because, okay, okay. It doesn't matter. Up. It you're, doesn't matter. You call, you call up a response. That doesn't matter. It does, and I'm recording this right now. It That's doesn't fine. matter. It's recording okay. as well. It doesn't matter. You're so, acting so, very no, erratic. You have to stop talking for a second. Okay, she's, just to, she's just trying to go to jail, yeah. is what she's trying yeah, to do. Yeah, that's what she's trying to do. Not let her stress you out. Stupid as hell. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Like, why are you talking to the officers? Like, they came out to save you. Oh, God. There's obviously been a disagreement with the two other girls at the house, but they're completely fine with sending her on her way and letting her sleep this off. But for some reason, this girl just wants to keep pushing buttons and making things worse. Make sure you have my money. Make sure you have my money. All right. Okay, I'm walking off your premises. I'm walking off your premises. Uh, yeah. No, I'm going to jail for what? Yeah, for, jail, for disorderly conduct. Make sure you, at me. I, I'm not swinging at you. Make sure you make sure you have my phone. Make sure you have my phone. Yeah, make sure you have my phone. And I'm walking Stop. to the car. Man, I'm walking to your car. I'm walking to your Stop. car. Stop. I'm walking to your car. Don't Stop. fucking jack me up. Don't Stop. fucking jack me up, bitch. You going to jail? Oh, Stop. Why won't you, you dumbass, bitch? As you'd expect, the girl went straight to jail after this, where she was charged with one count of disorderly conduct and one count of felony obstruction. But none of these girls so far have done much else than cause a scene or drive while drunk. But that's all about to change with the case of Courtney Clenny, a woman so delusional, she ended up murdering her own boyfriend. On the 3rd of April, 2022, Miami police received a terrifying phone call. I can't get my arm. I can't feel my heart. Oh, my boyfriend is dying of a stab. Ma'am, what is the address? 27-year-old Christian Toby Abumselli was bleeding out in his girlfriend's lap with a brutal stab wound to the chest. When police arrived, pools of blood were found all over the apartment, and Toby was barely clinging to life. OnlyFans model Courtney Clenny had met Toby back in 2020. The two seemed to be deeply in love, but behind closed doors, things were completely different. The couple were known to have violent fights, and the police were even called multiple times to their apartment. But their biggest argument would take place in April of 2022 and result in Toby bleeding out and begging for his life. Courtney told police she had nothing to do with it, but police thought differently. So she was brought in for questioning, and a five-hour-long interrogation began. My apologies for being absolutely covered in blood. Listen. You don't have to apologize, okay? So I completely understand. Mm -hmm. All right? Things happen, and you can't control it. Okay? How long have you guys been together? Um, about two years. About two a years. year and a half to two years, yeah. Okay. Is he okay? He's, he's still at the hospital. They're still, I, I you know, know. monitoring him and talking to him. So we're waiting. Oh, my God. So he's not even, he didn't even have to have surgery. Well, I don't know. They're, they're, okay. they're still, they're still uh, doing um, x-rays and stuff like that, so I don't know yet. 
I'm waiting to hear a response. That's all I have to know. Thank okay. God. The detectives tell Courtney that Toby is in the hospital, but alive. Detectives are usually unaware of how a suspect will react to certain information, so it's often safest to open by easing any worries they may have and talking in a non-accusatory manner. This makes the suspect feel more relaxed and more likely to open up. I just got back together. I had broken up with him, and then he came back the last like two nights, and then started like to to an argument, and I ended up getting scared, and I think that I overreacted, or not overreacted necessarily, but reacted, and I just didn't know exactly what might happen. Do you guys work here in Miami, or do you guys have your own business? I do social media, so I'm an influencer, I guess is what oh, yeah. call us, yes, I'm an influencer. What do you focus on, like, Instagram, or all? Um, Social media. Instagram. Oh, and what is it that he does? Stocks and crypto. Stocks and crypto. He just has stocks and stuff crypto. We were gonna move into a house. Mm -hmm. So have an apartment, and then we we're like, maybe we just move here for a year. And then once we got here, we were like, mm, no, this is dope. Yeah. So he, we're, we have the dog picked out. It's Golden Retriever. We're going to name Mello. So we're going to get the house. So we're going to have a backyard. Because I have two dogs and then we're going to have three. So we're planning on staying here for a while. Sorry. Once again, you don't have to apologize. The detectives can tell Courtney is in a vulnerable state, but at the end of the day, they're there to solve a crime. Courtney's being investigated for stabbing Toby, and the only defense she's given so far is that there was an argument and things got out of hand. If Courtney did in fact do what she's being accused of, being forced to think about her past and future with Toby would really be messing with her emotions, causing her to become more vulnerable and hopefully lead to an easy confession. Let's start from the start. Uh, you guys were supposed to take out your dogs to the park, right? And then what happens after that? Um, like I said, a little bit before, um, I was doing laundry mm -hmm. and tried to call my mom. She didn't answer the first time. And then he left, I guess he went to go bike over there. He, that's just what he said. I don't know if he walked or bikes, but you told me he's going to bike first. Like a bicycle? Yeah. Okay. And then he came back with a subway sandwich, um, and I said something about like, "Oh, are you gonna like reshare your location with me, like to share it?" And um, he said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm sure." And I was like, "Oh, when did you do that?" And he was the other day, like when you were done with me. And I was like, "Okay, well, fair enough. And, like reshare it." Um, and then he told, me. I mean, it kind of like turned into like a little like argument or something. And then he told me to reshare mine, and I was like, okay, yeah, I will. And then I didn't do it immediately. Uh, he asked me about it again. Um, and I don't know what I was thinking, but it just said something about, well, what if I'm somewhere you don't want me to be? Which I'm, I wouldn't have been. I love him. Um, but maybe you don't want to know where I am. I guess maybe it'll just like hurt him because he was pressing me. Um, and he ended up pinning me against the wall. I mean, I said, like, choking me on the floor. It's just like, they were looking at my neck, and I was like, I mean, I'm not saying, like, choking me, like, you know, whatever. But, I mean, he had my, like, neck. Like, I, I, and this happened twice before, okay. where I couldn't breathe, and I was on the floor. Yeah. I could not breathe. And I don't think that he was trying to kill me, mm -hmm. but I was scared. And all three times I have been scared, I'm on the floor. And he had me pinned. Get my mom on the phone. So this happened like over by the door and somehow was like over in the living room. He was standing by by the couch, facing for the kitchen. I was in the kitchen. And then he just like, I could see like all the whites in his eyes and he was like, like coming at me. And so I grabbed, I grabbed one of these knives. My mom got me for Christmas. I grabbed one of them. And I was like, I swear, I swear to God. I swear to God, it was just like, I, I mean, I, I would be like, don't come in, you were closer to me. Because, I, I mean, earlier, I was having two other times I couldn't 
can't breathe. I'm sorry. I couldn't breathe. And it's very scary. And I just think, like, just like this kind of thing where I was saying, like, do you know if he's okay? If you like, if you, if he's choking me and he's angry enough, he might, like, or, I mean, this is different, I think. But if he's, like, choking me or, like, pinning me or something and I can't breathe, he might go too long. So I grab my sorry. I grab my I grab my knife. And I said, "Don't come anywhere closer to me." I had absolutely no intention of using it. I'm on the phone with my mom, and he's coming at me like he's gonna grab either the phone or like the knife or something. And so I was just like, I, I was like, "Don't don't come any closer." It's coming at me, and I drew it. And I meant for it to go. How far away was he? So well, I was by my fridge, and he was like by the edge of one of the chairs of the sofa. Um, like, to I'm, I'm trying to think in my head. To recap, Courtney says that an argument started when the pair had both stopped sharing their phone locations that resulted in him pinning her against the floor and her retaliating by throwing a kitchen knife across the room, piercing him in the chest. Courtney also clearly states that her attack was in self-defense and specifically involved her throwing a knife 10 feet across the apartment that landed perfectly in his chest, causing him to bleed out and fear for his life. So then um, you were by the fridge scared. and he was by the couch? Yes, I was between and then, in front of the fridge and he was by the couch. Yes. And then behind the behind my island. And then what kind of movements did he make that he uh, at the at the moment? He was gonna walk running up. At me. Running? Okay. Well tur charging, aggressively walking, something. What was he doing? Like was he doing something with his hands or doing he had his hands up. I really could I couldn't tell you a was he yelling at you at the time? Yes. Was that at the moment that he was charging you or earlier in one of the arguments? It was before he choked me. When I... Yes. It was before he choked me. Okay. And, or whatever. But I swear to God, I was scared. I mean, after like what I had just... I was yeah. scared. And I was on the phone with my mom and it was still happening. Yeah. I was scared. So you told me, you told me that, that he had you against the wall at one point, right? with the hands over your neck. Mm -hmm. And what, how did you end up from the wall to the ground? Let me go, let me go. And then I started swinging on him because I had been against the wall. Okay. I started trying to hit him. Yeah. And then he put me on the ground. He dropped it to the ground. When I'm trying to remember like a whole situation of where I was very upset about something, yeah. which I've learned this in therapy and whatever, it's like, write down like all the details so you don't forget just like write it all out clearly mm -hmm. so that it makes sense to you and makes sense to somebody else but I haven't had a chance to have a pen and paper or my phone mm -hmm. to like write down exactly what happened and yeah, I haven't really even like fully thought about it yeah. so honestly my, my answer is I couldn't even, I don't remember okay. you just have a history of yeah you say you've been together how long I'm sorry Almost two years. Almost two years. And a half to two years. So how many how many incidents do you think you've had? Uh, I don't I don't know, but we shouldn't be together. Have uh, you made a report before? Uh, no. You've never made a report. Oh, I did in um I did in Dallas actually about yeah. a year ago, um and he was detained. And what happened he, there? Um, he had pushed me in the um lobby but it wasn't like a big deal and they made it a huge deal the couple had also been involved in another incident in Las Vegas less than a year earlier. Police were called to their apartment after a loud argument was heard, as well as glasses smashing on the floor and walls. The apartment was trashed when police arrived, and Courtney's story was all over the place. Why do you call for help? Because we were getting really loud. We were getting loud. And I was like, oh my god, we're gonna like do damage to the room or something. Not damage to each other. Like I really want to like. Uh, why? Why? Why would you like that? Why would you think that you were gonna do damage to the room? I like throwing something or like. Did you throw something? Did I? Yeah. No. Did anybody throw anything? No. So why would you think that there is damage to the room to be made? Because I've done that before in our house, and I. What have you done? Thrown a glass and a plate. Did you throw a glass or a plate at him today? No. Okay. So if no, I listened before. Okay. So when I go to the room and I see a broken glass on the floor, where did the glass come from? I don't I don't know. I literally couldn't even remember how the fight started. Okay, well Was there? Yeah. Maybe I did. 
Well, I'm guessing that it's real. But that sounds like me. So. Courtney was brought to jail and held for 12 hours overnight, but Toby refused to press charges and advocated heavily for release. This may seem like nothing, but police did conclude that Courtney had attacked him that night by throwing a glass at his head. If nothing else, it proves that Courtney was capable of attacking Toby unprovoked and opens up an entirely new avenue for this investigation. However, it also turns out that police had been in contact with the couple more recently. In fact, they'd actually been called by security to their apartment apartment the day before the attack. Um, but the cops have been up there um, one other time yesterday mm -hmm. for absolutely no reason. Absolutely not. They harassed but, um, not, the, not the police, but um, security guards from the from office, like young security guards. Okay. Came up for no reason. Um, bothered him, bothered me. The cops were called, however, and captured an entire exchange on body cams, providing a stark contrast to the story that Courtney gave here. Hey, you call. I didn't. Nobody. I, I called. Call. You call. Okay. What's going on? Hold on, man. Let him talk. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Uh, the front desk personnel. She informed us that uh, Miss Courtney, uh, her boyfriend, was trying to get into the elevator. And she had her hand out like this, and she was like, oh no, don't come inside that way. Okay. So we asked her, I said, do you want him to leave the property? She said no, she don't want him to leave I did not say that, I said yes. Hold on. Courtney, what's going on? What do you need? What? Yeah, give her the Alright, so what do you, what do you want? What do you want to see? I want a restraining order against Christian and Rumzelli. We don't issue those. Because, those no, I'm serious. To court. Can I do that? Where you have can to go I go to court. You have to okay, go to well, how can I make petition? myself first? Courtney is obviously extremely panicked in this footage and seems less concerned about any possible ab that she may have been sustaining and more worried about getting a restraining order before Toby can. It's also important to note that the building's security noticed her pushing Toby out of the elevator and screaming at him and mentioned absolutely no aggression coming from him. As the evidence mounts up, it's starting to get increasingly more likely that Courtney's whole self-defense story might might be straying slightly away from the truth. But as is almost always the case in situations like these, everything is still hearsay, and officially debunking her claims is going to be a challenge for the detectives. But after leaving her alone for almost an hour and letting her change clothes, they return to the interrogation room with some more news for her. So you're living in a nightmare right now. Yes. You know? So I feel so much better once they just say, stable yeah it, and i've been asking i've been asking that, so much that's what we're waiting for and, uh, i mean i feel like at the end i mean if, he, if he's not that's a lot worse for me so they've asked for an update and i asked them for an update as well so they're checking uh to see what's going because they're i, I, I don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know what i will do with myself if he's, well, if he's not okay no matter I what mean, i mean i clearly we can't be together no matter what happens but, no matter where this falls, right? It's it's out of our control. <clears throat> um, so we have to inform you that Christian did not make it. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the doctors did what they could. And Christian is dead. Yes. Oh my God. This is not real, right? Okay. Christian died? Can I please have a hug? Am I allowed to do that in here? Sure. No, no, no. I I need I need to I need to hug my mom. I cannot be left alone in like a room by myself you won't be after there. this. I just like, no, that's not true. That's not, that did not, that's not real, right? It is real. Christian didn't, Christian is dead. Yes. You're not gonna lie. The last thing he ate was subway. What did I say in that other room? I said, God forbid, God forbid when like 
from far away. If if it, if what if what if I what if it had actually hit a little bit lower and he died? So we can't we can't change what what's occurred and get him before. So just step by step. So you'll get through this, all right? It's easy to tell by the detectives' reactions that they're fairly convinced what happened was indeed self-defense. In fact, one of them was even talking earlier about how he's sure she'd be allowed home that night and that everything was going to be fine. So it obviously wasn't hard for her lawyer to convince them officially that she wasn't guilty and she was let off without any charges. But remember, the detectives weren't aware of any of the evidence mentioned so far. All they know is what Courtney told them. So as time went on, evidence started to mount up, and the Abumsellis case was starting to become stronger and stronger. The body cam videos started to become publicly available, and the true nature of her previous arrests came to light. There were also unflattering videos such as this one showing her drunk in public just days after her release. Yeah, and they're seeking you know, justice. Yeah, what? let's all videotape her. Okay. Right now, she, yeah, you she should go. go. Yeah, you should go. Because you, you just know my boyfriend. Yeah, you, yeah, you did. Yeah, and you, yeah. He's white too. Yeah, okay, cool. Sure, people make mistakes and drink too much. But when you're seen acting like this in public just days after bawling your eyes out in an interrogation room, you don't exactly get painted in the best light. Just days later, footage secretly recorded by Toby was found on his phone displaying Courtney violently screaming at him, using aggressive language, hitting him across the face, and using racial slurs. You literally talked to her without telling me! Courtney, I was on a bike ride and she passed me and I said hi. Uh, you and Courtney are having a, a live chat. My bad, I forgot to tell you that. That doesn't make you to act and call me a Yes! Yes! Thank you! Coming from you! Thank you! I want you to get away from me! So due to this and many other accounts stating that Courtney was well and truly the one, she was officially taken to court by Toby's family. This is where the final nail in the coffin was delivered by a medical examiner who'd observed Toby's body and come to a conclusion. Now based on the information you received that the defendant was alleged to have thrown this knife, you know, do your observations support that? If the person who supposedly did this is an expert knife thrower and the knife is the type of knife that you can throw, I guess that could have happened. Did you receive any information that the defendant was a knife thrower? No. So based on that fact that you did not receive that information, would it support that? No. And would you expect, what would you expect to see a knife do if someone just flung it at somebody? It would just hit the body and bounce off. Now as a result of this case, did you come to a uh, cause, or did you make a determination as to the cause and manner of death? Yes. Could you please explain those to the court? The cause of death was stab wound of right subclavian artery. The manner of death was homicide. As of April 2023, Courtney is currently awaiting what's become one of the most anticipated trials in modern history. She faces life in prison on account of second-degree murder with all of the evidence stacked against her. It's not looking good for her as we prepare to see if she'll be spending the rest of her life behind bars. If you enjoy true crime videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to see more.